Hey guys, Jim from Tips from the Table. Uh, I wanted to go over some stuff on uh, high pressure airbags. Um, all the airbags that we have typically are going to have the uh, uh, a marking on it that just tells you what the load rating capacity is and the maximum lift height. <clears throat> this particular drawing I have here is um, supposed to represent an airbag we have at work. We've got several airbags. This is a small one. We've got one of these with the extrication equipment and we've got one in the man and machine kit. Um, it's a uh, um, 3.2 ton airbag. Uh, it's 12 inches uh, long and 6 inches wide. Uh, <clears throat> we'll simplify it and just say it's a 3 ton airbag. Okay, so uh, if you figure out 3.2 tons is actually 6,490 pounds. So um, you can simplify that and say 6,400, 6,000, whatever, just uh, for ease of uh, marking your bag. If you decide to mark your airbags, uh, I recommend it. Uh, instead of trying to look for the small diagram on there that tells you what it is, uh, you can have it marked with a paint pen and pull it off the truck and the light and know exactly what it is. Uh, obviously, this 3.2 tons uh, is, is only applicable up to one inch of lift. Uh, we've talked about that before. The maximum lift height on the airbag is 3.5 inches for this particular airbag. Um, now, that does not apply to the 3.2 tons. You cannot lift the whole three tons up three and a half inches. Uh, technically, you only want to lift an airbag 75% uh, of its max uh, lift height rating anyway. Uh, but basically, I want to go over how to figure out what your airbag's uh, rating is if that diagram is worn off or, or whatever. You know, you can't read it, so you're not 100% sure what it's rated at. Uh, we're going to go over exactly how to figure that out. Um, some of the... Uh, uh, numbers I'll be using tonight are specific to our airbags like the PSI and, and tonnage and things like that. Uh, our airbags operate at 118 PSI. Some other airbags may not. They may operate at 116, you know, um, you know, just whatever. So make sure you check your bags and see what they are. Also, this is an imperial tonnage bag, so it's 2,000 pounds. Uh, some of them can be rated at uh, with metric tons too, so make sure you're sure of that. Basically, to figure out what this bag is rated at, um, you want to get the uh, surface area that will actually be lifting, okay? Uh, obviously, you can multiply 12 times 6. That will give you a surface area, but that's not the one we're looking for. The surface area we're looking for is the actual area that will be touching an object uh, when it's lifting, okay? So what we do to, to figure that out is we'll basically, we will subtract 1 from 12, and we will subtract 1 from 6. So we'll have 11 and 5, so we will um, multiply the two together, and that gives us 55 square inches of surface area, okay? Uh, that'll be lifting at 3.2 tons up to an inch, okay? Now, to figure out, if we didn't know it was rated at 3.2 tons, basically you just measure the bag with a uh, ruler or whatever and subtract one from each of those. You take your 55 square inches that we just got from doing that, then you multiply it by 118. I've got all these inches already written down because I'm not good at math. Uh, 118 times 55 is going to give you um, 6,490 pounds, obviously. And then if you divide that by 2,000, um, that's going to give you 3.2, which is where we get the 3.2 tons from. So if it's not marked on there, that's a quick way to find out exactly what your bag is uh, rated for up to an inch of lift. Um, that's all well and good as long as uh, that 3.2 ton uh, applies if the object is in full contact with all 55 of those inches, okay? Uh, if you have an object that is not in full contact with it, if we had, let's just say, and, and this is all hypothetical, but let's just say that we had uh, an object that's laying across the bag like that, okay, a frame of a vehicle, whatever. And I, we wouldn't use this bag to necessarily for lifting a vehicle, but I'm just using it for an example, okay. And let's say that the uh, area that is touching this uh, airbag on this this object here, let's say this is, you know, obviously six inches across. Let's say that this right here to right here is three inches, okay. Basically, you want to do the same thing that you did over here to figure this out, okay? So 6 times 3 is going to be 18 square inches. That's 18 square inches of surface area contact with that object. 
So look at it like this. Basically, you can erase all of this part of the airbag, okay? And you've got a small airbag now because none of this over here on this side or this side is taking any of the weight. So they, it doesn't give you any advantage. Now, basically, this, is, this part right here is a just a smaller airbag now. An 18 square, inch, 18 square inch airbag as opposed to 55, okay? So you will, uh, to figure that out, you'll take 18 inches, 18 square inches, multiply that by 118, and that's going to give you um, 2,124 pounds. That's a big difference from 6,490, okay? Most people have this impression that uh, as long as I'm not lifting over one inch, and as long as the object weighs the bag's rated tonnage or less, then I can lift it. So basically, most people think that if this object laying on it weighed 3.2 tons and we weren't lifting over an inch, that we're good to go. And that is absolutely not the case at all. Uh, you have to delete this part of the airbag and this part of the airbag from the equation and basically look at it like you have a separate airbag, okay? So right now, this thing will lift a little over one ton. So we'll just give it a one ton rating, okay? So not knowing that could potentially have an impact. Uh, I don't propose that you're going to go to a call and do all this math in the middle of the night, but I'll show you why it's important in just a second. Um, so we figured out that this particular area is um, uh, 2,000 pounds essentially of uh, uh, rated lift. What's important to start to kind of figure out is what uh, percentages of your bag can hold. Um, that way you can mark your bag with those per specific percentages if you want to so that you can kind of put it under a car and you can look at it and say, oh, it looks like that object is over a quarter of the bag and I remember that a quarter of the bag uh, can lift this much. So basically, uh, you know, to do that, um, you would just get uh, the if you would take that 18 square inches that we just had and divide it by 55, that will give you uh, um, 18 divided by 55 is 0.33. If you uh, move the decimal places, move the decimal over to the right twice, it's going to give you 33%. So this particular object is covering 33% of the bag, okay? Um, it's not really a huge deal there. Uh, not something you're going to have to know, you know, nobody's going to ask you what percentage of the bag you were using. But what is important is if you want to make one of these right here, we keep them, uh, I made them for our company. Basically each bag is uh, listed with the, you know, separate percentages and where to lift. So with this three ton bag here, we uh, figured it out what each one will hold. So uh, with 100%, surface contact area, basically everything on the bag touching, it'll lift something one inch uh, if it, uh, up to 6,000 pounds, okay? Now, I know I said earlier that the bag actual uh, weight to the lift is 6,490. We just did this because it, it, you know, it makes it more generic, easier. You don't want to have a whole bunch of numbers. So this is just a reference sheet, it's something the guys can put their eyes on and kind of start to remember, things like that, and that way at a call, they'll kind of remember that, you know, um, the bag will lift this much if this much is covered. Um, so you can take that 6,000 and you can basically get, um, subtract 75% from that and that will give you 4,500 pounds. So if, um, 75% of the bag down here, you know, obviously you want to lift from the middle, but if 75% of the bag was, was lifting something, it'll lift 4,500 pounds. If an object is only touching 50% of the bag, then it will lift, obviously, 3,000 pounds. And 25% of the bag can lift uh, 1,500 pounds. So not even a ton. This 3.2 ton airbag is now limited. If it's something small, it's limited to 1,500 pounds. Okay. Um, so there's something to be cognizant of. Do 